Good morning everybody and happy National Trails Day. This is Mac and I am headed to Shotgun Creek, our local OHV area for a trail cleanup this morning and we're gonna have an adventure and see what's going on out there. I'm going out early because I know there's a lot of garbage out there and it's basically three hours of driving for me round trip and the cleanup is supposed to only be two hours and I do not like that gas ratio so I'm going early and the organizers are gonna end up with a pile of trash bags in the parking lot by, uh, by the time the event starts or at least that's my plan The Cascade View HV, OHV Day Use Trailhead. Shot but, uh, let's get parked and let's grab some bags. You may recognize this parking lot because this is where we staged uh, for a uh, Shotgun Creek uh, rescue a couple years ago, I think, and uh, helped pull somebody out of the snow up there. So we will see. Already a bunch of little micro trash here, there, and everywhere. Ah. I'm not going to bore anybody too much with this, but uh, I'm going to grab a trash bag and uh, get to work. I love this survey ribbon. Have I ever mentioned that? This stuff is just fantastic. I mean, sure, you don't rip it down when it's denoting something, obviously, but when it starts to break down, it ends up everywhere so what are you guys doing for National Trails Day everybody out uh, at the very least enjoying a trail but it's even better if you're giving back to a trail personally I'd probably rather be up at Minto Pass that is one of my favorite trails but it probably still snocked in with snow and I have to work and get some volunteer stuff coordinated for that. So this is typical of a lot of the trails around here with Shotgun Creek. Um, they're small trails designed for motorcycles, side-by-sides, well, not really side-by-sides, but ATVs, the little things. There is one Jeep trail, see that? Motorcycles, ATVs, no side-by-sides, no Jeeps. There is one Jeep trail in this entire area and it was heavily logged. They took out all the obstacles, closed it for five years and I don't know if it's open yet. Uh, so, be nice to find out about that. Be nice to make some connections with some folks at the BLM. Uh, we have had a little bit of difficulty communicating with them in terms of some of our cleanup efforts in some of our areas. This is lovely, all toilet paper. So, we'll work on that. Oh, gotta love it when people leave their motor oil out here. There's DP everywhere here. So clean. Do you recognize that? That's a cap off of a tube of grease. And in this case, looks like that's where everybody. Oh no, it is a toilet paper. There's a bag. <sighs> Micro Trash Mac. That's what they call me. Huckleberry. Okay. 
got a good five pounds right now. Time for a little sunscreen. Let's see if we look right here yet. We heard a car down there, but kind of figure there. More people would be showing up. Maybe I don't get over this one. We're all really, really not that bad. Also surprised by the two. Yeah. There's a whole bunch more people out here. It's Saturday morning. I mean, I know it's 9.30, but it's 9.30. The weather's beautiful. There's trails out here to be hit. This is for unloading bikes and quads and stuff. Have trucks. Beautifully set up. Well armored, well built. Ramps are for loading and unloading only. No parking in front of ramps. That would definitely be a not cool move. And we have a can. Let's, let's make that can plural back here. And more cans. Looks like you got more people coming. How's everybody doing this morning? Good. Got a bag for you. Awesome, I'll take it. Here for the work party? Yes, sir. Awesome. What's your name? Mac. Matt? Mac, M-A-C. M-A-C? Yep. I'm, I'm Matt. Matt. Two T's. Brush the trail away, get everything as, much, as clean up as possible, work on some of these obstacles with some of the rock bars, get them situated. Um, you know, like a couple hours of work, and then have you guys like play on them and give me some feedback. Right now, I'm thinking that the obstacles are, are too narrow when they put them in. So this is somebody else who's come in. They took all the obstacles out. They were supposed to put them to the side and then put them back. Mm -hmm. They the timber company rolled them down the hill and then didn't put them back. So then they came in with new material and put it in place. And it's a little bit wonky. It wasn't put in by four wheeler. So um, to have people with experience, it would be good to, to see what we can do in the future and to. With the mindset and the scope of like, this is what we're working with is just this amount of material. It's a lot of logs and, and rocks and stuff like that. So a little green trail. And then the blue is that upper section that's a lot more technical. And eventually we want to link two to three, hopefully find a line down four, and then link up six. So we have this like four-wheeler loop that we can get out of it. It essentially, it's like quadruple the mileage that we have out here right now. Yeah. Yeah, before it was only one and two, right? Just two. Or yeah. just, sorry, just three. Just three. Just three. Just three. Yeah. Yeah. And that was like, three was what, half a mile or something like that? I mean, the it really... The part is, is maybe a mile, a mile and some change with the blue part, portion. It's not very long. Um... Yeah, I like it a lot. You're welcome to use it if you want. You have the compressor to use more. Twin by airs.
took some of the obstacles back. Kind of call that and an obstacle. Much more passenger. You're good, you're good. Honestly, it looks fine, and yeah. I'm yeah, of the. I, I, I think there'd be a lot more important things to spend time on than, cool. yeah. than that. Well, and it, and and, and generally the the uh, rule with trail maintenance, at least hiking trails, is is never lose an opportunity to narrow a trail. That's fair. Because in this particular case, this pre prevents this becoming a parking lot or. Yeah, and most of my work, but I could back my truck out and we could have someone run it. And then if we see something that maybe we should adjust, now's the time we could adjust it. That guy, young guy with the chair, he already drove over it and yeah, it Gabe. was just a... Yeah. Yeah, but he's a beast. <laughs> well, and and personally, any of the any and all improvements that need to happen to this would involve an excavator and a dump truck and some big rocks. Not... Shotgun is always, it's too 
So what do you think? This looks like uh, it could be a nice little fun little crawl out of here. And it's already pretty darn clear. Yep. Oh. And so we have that one little short obstacle. And then you drive around a long corner. There needs to be a lot more here.
slippery. Well, that's that's rear wheel drive only. My guess is that other than, well, if, if they're this shallowly buried, they're going to get pulled out. Yeah. Hey, we got a contender. The loose log. Yeah. Yeah. What about this, what about this feature in general? Like, are, is this like working? Yeah, could you make this it a little bit This is good for, this is great so. for just low level guys. Yeah. And it's a nice, easy obstacle. That and they're, these are a lot more difficult when they're wet. Oh yeah, a hundred percent more difficult yeah. when they're wet. I don't care how big of a tire you got. <laughs> it's uh. Just the leg. Oh, absolutely. Still, well, still a little narrow. Yep. Yeah, especially with that big tree on the end there at the anchor point. Yeah, I didn't even turn my lockers on. And I need to fix my transfer case linkage. That's that perfect wheelbase hanger. Yeah, that one was turned completely sideways when I came into it too. Yep, that's gonna make that tricky. It was down lower when I came That log trying to rotate is gonna make that yeah, tricky. Okay. You gotta hit it with a bump. Yeah, you're gonna have to bump that one. Watch out for flying logs. Just bump it a little bit. And Jeeps. There you go, nope. That log's just not stable enough. What do you think we should do with this log, Jeff? Well, for the time being, throw it off. It was a lot easier. Man, I can't this thing. Yeah, here, we can, um, there we go. So, when we got here, it was sitting right there. Was it? Yes. Yeah. So, this log is light. It's dry. It's light. So, me, <laughs> and I, again, I, I am not everyone, but me, I was like, oh, it looks like it should go here. That's what I thought too. And then we should put some rock on it to, it to ramp it up. It looks more in its home there. Yeah. Yep. It looks more in its home right where you're standing at. So I, I feel like we should air out a little yeah. bit. I think we should clean this out, get that log back in there, and then build a little foundation around it to keep it in place. Yeah. Should be three quarters, yeah. three quarters of the way buried, or it's going to come out. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Let's get um, one more rock bar in here. I think we could wiggle that yeah. loose a little get bit. Rock bar. Get a couple shovels. Um, that's where you're able to somehow pry these logs apart a little bit. Got, yeah, uh, yeah, with these rock bars, they work really well when you leverage jump. You need like a, a focal point behind the obstacle that you're looking. So right here. Even if the logs came up, and three of them were. So this is like a focal point right here. And you can kind of like swivel it and move it. Yep. We want to pack more material in there? I think we're going to try to like separate these two just a little bit more to trap that guy in there. And then we'll just backfill it all. Well, if we dig this a little bit and push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, if you did, if you set it right next to this one, uh, 
It would be up a little ways and still locked in. Like, I'm not like this one. To, uh, set this one next to it and then roll this lock kind of onto the top of both of them. Yeah. That's I see what, what you're thinking. saying. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just leave it there. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll oh, just have it face here. Side it instead of. Yeah. And then once we we'll open that back up again, and then we can try to lock everything back into place. We did just flip them, but I think it's more stable the way we flip them. What kind of sound do you hear? It looks like it's about to hit. Well, it's definitely more stable than it was. Should we start? don't like going for a ride. <laughs> so uh, I think this obstacle has a name and it's short wheelbase killer. Hey. I smell clutch. I smell clutch. And we have a winner. Well, where can we, is there a quarry around here we can fetch big rocks from? Yeah, because you also say three quarter minus, and we're like, oh, we don't want three quarter minus. Yeah, three quarter yeah, minus is paving. In my driveway. Right, it's, it's, it's <laughs> I, here. It's I, I also, <laughs> or not three, three inch minus, I'm sorry, not three quarters. Oh, I, al I also have a, a five ton dump trailer, and I can bring it from Parvin Butte, and a five ton load of rock cost me 30 bucks. Y'all run five ton of rock, how many yards? Yeah, well, exactly, but the point is, is that we don't want, we don't need rock, what we need is big stuff, so... Um, so who owns yeah. what logging company owns around here? Um, hey, they all contracted, so I, I, I'm not the, the timber guy at all. Yeah. Um, what about the quarries that are here? I mean, they, th those are I know it's for them for doing the road, their road. Yeah, but some of it is it's like the quarries, I don't know who owns those. Uh, maybe the city. So, um, or it's gonna be either one of those. Right? So if like, we can get quarry right up here on this road, right? Back yeah. down right. Dollar. But but that's a but private line. Yeah. Right. yeah. And and they don't just they don't just quarry from there. So they they're probably pulling from those areas and then bringing it down to like I'm guessing Lane Forest. And then, then they sell it out of Lane Forest, kind of like. I thought the logging companies would use it. Yeah. The contractor. Exactly. Well, this is, this is at the E-Web Strawbridge facility. Yeah. And they're doing a campus improvements. And they're pulling all these boulders out of this excavation. And just, and yeah, And they're perfect. probably willing to give them away. 
Perfect. So I can talk to them. You know, I'll bring my dump trailer. I mean, it may be one or two rock at okay, a time. Hold on, but hold on, hold on. Let's, let's get back on track. So the um, the ins and outs of this are like unknown to me, just being like a an OHV adjacent park ranger. But the question I think was the school of thought was, do we place a bunch of little obstacles down, and then people drive on those? Or should we make like a longer continuing obstacle to drive on? Longer continuing obstacle to drive on. And so then that's when we devolved into the question of where can we get material? Yeah, where can we get more, right? And some of that, like, it, it probably is a question for the future. But the immediate thing that we can control and like get this open more than your future is like the stuff that we have in place. How do we best use that stuff? Yeah. And it sounds like right now the way that we best use that pile of arc right there is to combine it with this pile of logs. Yes. Um, and I yep. think that's the consensus, and we can definitely do that. Yeah, um, it would be, you know, another, I'm guessing like another month or something like that to get the uh, excavator and everything going like that, but if that's the, at least like the consensus of like, okay, we have a direction to move forward with this thing, instead of just leaving it there and then everybody hates it, that's, that's I love that idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm open to the world. Does it turn into a dust bowl? Yeah, look yeah. inside my truck. I've got my axe if you want it. Oh, I, I've got a real chainsaw too. <laughs> Here, let me see that thing. Get your real chainsaw, Jeff. So you just gotta hit that just button. Alright, here's your real saw. A real cool one. I'm a real one. Oh, looks like somebody. We need that, to be honest with you, Jeff. I, I, I don't know what you got in mind to even do with it. <laughs> Well, quite honestly, this rot and some of these are, I don't think it's going to be tough in, in 20 or 30 runs. Yeah, I don't think this is worth one estimate. I mean, it may be a future project to make a new obstacle, but I don't I think there's much you can do with this. Well, this also might be a problem here. See this? Once that starts rolling, that could get really dangerous really fast. They were pulling one out, I saw. Well, I, I can see the other end of it actually, because I think it came right out a little bit. I hope there's a lot of metal going out there. Put another uh, fulcrum in there. Grab a little short log, put it underneath there. There you go. I'll put that in the garbage bag. Keeping the boulders from rolling around. Yeah, getting twirly. This is a nice big spot where we could actually have a good approach and like it's a tight exit, but that's okay. Yeah, Your turn? Oh!
there. Oh, there's a couple of parts on the other side. You gonna check his oil and some other stuff while yeah, you're under there? Diff looks good. Damn, that's we switched one for one. I sent you for a car. Yeah. I went back down to the top part. Well then do half of it. Put one wheel on the gravel and the other on the logs. You're in, you're in two. There we go. I was in four high last time. I thought I was in four low. Yeah, you were in two. That's going to be a... Honestly, every time anybody drives that, it just makes it easier. They settle a little bit more. And now, uh, what are you gonna do? Hit it about 60? <laughs> Don't make it look too easy. Now backwards. <laughs> You're good.
That uh, heavy tire carrier and all that up there is not doing anything good for your center of gravity. Yeah, that little short, narrow thing and then high weight doesn't help. Right. You mind uh, shooting me going through here? Oh, sure. It's fired up. And I'll Perfect line. Right where you want to be. Keep popping out of gear. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help. There's a couple of them around here. There's another one down there that way. And there's still micro trash everywhere around here. But here, same thing. Nobody has to do this. Right. You know, you you can drive past this. So do some sections. I love. I like that idea of kind of having that little buffer area with a little bit more rock, so it's not just like a step down. Yeah. Perfect job. Trail, trail three cuts back to the left right now. This is that trail four that he was talking about. Oh, okay. So we're going to the left, huh? I believe so. He wanted to look at that one. See the end of a rocker, but no, maybe not. Yep, hold that. Let me know if you need me out of the way. Frame rail, uh, driver's side. 